Before I open with a word of prayer, I'd just like to say that in 2001, in October of 2001, I made a trip to Washington, D.C. to open a session of the U.S. Congress with prayer. Um, I had been going, I've been going to Washington my entire life. My dad took us when, when we were very young, said you need to know your nation's capital. I've, I've been in the U.S. Capitol hundreds of times every hour of the day. I even took a tour one time that was at like 3 o'clock in the morning. And one thing that I've always noticed every time that I've been in the Capitol is that it was full of activity. It didn't matter what time of the day or the night that it was, there was always something going on. But October the 16th, uh, 2001, is imprinted on my memory. Because on a Tuesday afternoon, right at 12 o'clock, I went into the Capitol to go to the chaplain's office. And I stood in the rotunda of our nation's capital alone for a half an hour. Not a single other person in the rotunda of the Capitol. Not a person that I could see anywhere around. And I don't know if that has the same impact on you that it did on me. But it shook me to my core. And I realized in a very powerful way that things would never be the same again. And we owe a tremendous debt to the people who serve this nation who protect our liberty, who guard our freedom, who keep watch on the walls of liberty so that you and I might walk in places like our nation's capital or down Dividend Drive or sit in this hangar today and celebrate this nation. And so I hope that you will as the Apostle Peter encouraged us in his letter to the church. He said, do not use your freedom as a covering for evil, but use it as an opportunity to do good at all times. Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you for this day that you've given us. We thank you for the opportunity that we have to gather in this place. And Father, we hold precious the freedom and liberty that we enjoy as Americans. We hold more precious the freedom and liberty that you provide for us through your son Jesus Christ. But we realize, Father, that the freedom that we enjoy as Americans gives us the freedom to gather as your children. And so, Father, we ask today a special blessing upon every man and woman who serves in the armed forces of this nation. We ask, Father, that you would be with them as they stand in the gap in harm's way between us and the forces that would destroy the freedom and liberty that we enjoy. Father, we pray for their families. And we ask that you would bless them and strengthen them and give them peace and comfort. Father, we pray for those families who have given the ultimate sacrifice. And we ask, Father, that you would bless them and strengthen them. And Father, we ask today that you would draw to our minds and the minds of our friends and neighbors the great blessing that you have given to this nation. Father, again, we ask that you would strengthen us and prepare us for the days ahead. And Father, we would ask for an end to all war and conflict. But in the, in the time between the dawning of that day and today, we pray for those brave men and women who gladly go 
and protect us, serve this nation, and honor their calling. And we thank you for your love for us and the blessings in our life. And we pray these things in the precious name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ the King. Amen.